just doing my last bit of practicing. I was practicing playing bees and I made sure to stay on the steady beat of tar. I practiced every single day and I managed to collect all five stars. I colored them in so neatly and I'm sure that you practiced. Did you collect all your stars? Well done! I'm so proud of you. Naki? Did you practice every day? Did you get all your stars? Oh, impressive little bear you are. You know what? Before we can learn something new, I think we should take one moment to see what we can remember. Can you all remember how to play a bee? Well, pick up your recorders and put your fingers on the position for bee and let's blow some notes. Are you ready? One, two, three, and that sounds good. Let's do it again. One, two, three, and well done. Now, can you remember on which line note B is? Hmm. Let's see. I'm going to refresh your memory for you. I'm going to go to page 10 where we learnt about the stave. Can you remember on which line the B is? Yes, it is on the third line of the stave. One, two, three. Now for the trick question. Which way does the stem of a note on this line go? Would it go up or would it go down? Wow, yes, it can go up or down because this note is on the third line. Now, I want to put my book back on the stand to get ready for when we play just now. Naki, do you know which note we are going to learn to play today? Children, do you want to know which note we will learn to play today? Do you? Come on, I tell you what, let's play a little game. You guess the note. I can't hear you. Oh, I can see you're all excited. Well, I will tell you now, we will learn to play the note A today. Can I show you which fingers to use? Okay, here we go. I'm going to play on my invisible recorder first. I'm going to take my left thumb. I'm going to close the first hole and the second hole. And that is how I will play an A. Do you want to try with me? Pick up your invisible recorders. Are you ready? You put your thumb on the back hole. First finger and second finger. Well done. I can see you have that. Now, I think we should pick up our real recorders. And Bobby here has been holding my recorder and I hope you've had your recorders in resting position. Are you ready? I would like for you to make sure that you have your left hand on top. Hold your recorder steady at the bottom if you wish. You put your finger on your thumb on the back hole. First finger on the first hole will make it a, yes, a B note. But we want to close the second hole and that is the A notes fingering. If you understand this is what an A looks like, 
So, A, A, Captain. Let's hear, do you understand? A, A, Captain. Now I will count you down and then you are going to play four A's. Are you ready? One, two, three, and And again. Well done. What I would like for you to do as well now is to play a B. So all you have to do is to lift your second finger and that will be the B. Are you ready to play a B note now? Are you sure you're ready? Let's do this. One, two, three, and And again. Well done. I would like for you to put your recorders in resting position and I'm going to ask Bobby to hold my recorder. Naki, did you perhaps hear anything interesting when we were playing? Oh, yes. Did you hear anything interesting? What did you hear? Yes, they sounded like two different notes because they were two different notes. The one was a B and the other one was an A. Oh, Naki, that is a very good question. Naki says that he could hear that the one note was higher than the other note and he also wants to know where the note A is on a stave. Now, do you remember the stave? Yes, I'm sure you can remember that it is still the third line where we have a B. Naki asked me to remind you that the B note sounded higher than the A note. Oops, he wants to ask me another question. Oh, that is a very interesting question, Naki. Naki wants to know where the note A is on a stave. I'm going to take my book and I'm going to show you exactly where it is. Now remember, when we learnt about the B note, we learnt that it was on the third line. The A sounds lower than the B, not higher. So of course then the note should go in the space just below the B note. Can you see that? Well done. If you understand, say, A, A, Captain. Well done. I can see that you all understand this. Now, children, I would like for you to go to page 13. Lesson 7. Note A is the lesson's name. And you can even see they put an A in the space for us. If you play the note on the line just above the A, what note will you play? Yes, the note just above that will be a B. Let's however first practice playing A notes and then we will play A and B notes. Are you ready? If you are ready, say A, A, Captain. A, A, Captain. Please find track 18 in your box. take a look at this line. What do you see? Yes, that's right. All the notes are A notes. I'm going to put my music book on the stand, or my textbook on the stand, and then we're going to clap the rhythm first. Are you ready? One, two, three, and ta, 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 Ta-te-ta, ta-te-ta. Well done. I think once more for good luck. Are you ready? One, two, three, and ta, 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 ta-te-ta, ta-te-ta. Now boys and girls, please get your recorders ready and then we can play track 18. Remember to put your thumb on the back hole and the first two fingers in the front. Are you ready? One, two, three, and. Wow, that 
that's impressive. I think we should try this again. Remember to make sure all the holes are closed perfectly. Are you ready? One, two, three, and... Well done. Now children, I would love for us to look at exercise one. First we're going to look at it and then we're going to say and clap the rhythm whether it's ta, tate or a sa. Are you ready? One, two, three and ta, 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 ta. Well done. Once more. Are you ready? One, two, three and ta, 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 ta. Ta, 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 ta. That was very good. I think now we need to make sure when we say it again and clap it that we say the note name, whether it's an B or an Yes, the new note. A. Let's do this. Are you ready? One, two, three, and B, B, A, A, B, 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 A, A. Not so easy, is it? Let's try this slightly slower. Are you ready? Let's do this. One, two, three, and B, B, A, A, B, 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 A, A. Fantastic job. It's going to be tricky because now we have to do our chin and chin, chin one and the th 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 one. Are you ready? Secure it. Are you ready? And now when we do the twos, remember that we've got to stay on the rhythm. Are you ready? One, two, three, and I think we should try that once more. Are you ready? Now, I would love for us to do it again on our chinny chin chins, but this time when we do the two two, I would like for you to use the fingering for the notes because that was a tricky rhythm. Do you agree? I agree with you. All right, are you ready? One, two, three, and. Good job. Now I think we should actually play the track. Are you ready? We'll take it nice and slow. Track 19, here we go. One, two, three, and. Wow, that sounds so good. I think once more would do the trick. One, Two, three, and. Well done, that's excellent. I think you deserve a yellow star for all this hard work. And Naki agrees with me. And Bobby agrees with me. And there you go, yellow star in the pocket. Well done. For exercise two, we've got to watch out because there's the sound where you, shh, you've got to be quiet on the sound. You cannot play because it's not a note, it's a rest. It means no playing. Break time. Oh, let's see, can we do this? For exercise number two, we'll do exactly the same. We will clap first and say the rhythm. And then we will clap and say the notes. Let's see if we can do this. Resting positions. Are you ready? Whichever arm doesn't matter. I do it this way. It's more convenient for me. But if you choose to do it on the other side, which is most probably the more correct way, that's fine. Right. I'm putting mine on my left arm. Ugh, got it tight. Are we ready? Let's say and clap the rhythm for exercise number two. One, two, three. And ta, sa, ta, sa, 
Tate to, tate to. Once more, one, two, three, and to, sa, to, sa. Tate to, tate to. Very good. Can you remember the B note is on the line and the A note is just in the space below? Let's see if we can stay on track with exercise two. What I would like for us to do now is to clap again and say the note names. Are you ready? One, two, three, and B, Sa, A, Sa, B, B, A, B, B, A. Slightly more tricky, yes? Let's do this again. You ready? One, two, three, and B, Sa, A, Sa, B, B, A, B, B, A. Well done. Now this time round, when we put our recorders on our chins, I would like for us to say the rhythm, or the to the rhythm, I should say, and then we're going to show the fingering. Are you ready? So here we go. Oh, that's very tough. Let's try it slowly. Are you ready? One, two, three, and. And now we will play exercise two. Remember we start on the B. Are you ready? One, two, three, and. Are you ready to do that once more? It sounds so good. Are you ready? One, two, three, and. Well done. Bobby, don't you think they're doing an awesome job? Yes, I think so too. I think it's time that we give you your second star for today. Second yellow star, but it's gold. Let's do this. There we go. Well done. Excellent job. Boys and girls, I think we should try exercise three. Are you ready? Put your recorders in resting position. So first we're going to say and clap the rhythm. Let's do this. Exercise three. We're ready as can be. Let's do it. One, two, three, and ta te ta te ta sa ta te ta sa ta. I almost made a mistake there and I'm sure you also did. Let's do this again. Are you ready? One, two, three, and ta te ta te ta sa ta te ta sa ta. That was better. The next thing we're going to do is to say the note names with a rhythm. So let's do it slightly slower. Are you ready? What's the first note? Yes, that's right, a B. Are you ready? One, two, three, and B, B, A, A, B, Sa, B, B, A, Sa, B. We'll have to do that slightly slower even. Are you ready? One, two, three, and B, B, A, A, B, Sa, B, B, A, Sa, B. That's slightly easier when you do it slowly, hey? Now, chinny chin chin playing. Are you ready? This is going to be tricky. We start on a B while we tongue the notes. You ready? One, two, three, and. Oh, 
Oh, that was good. Let's do that once more. One, two, three, and. Oh, it feels as if I'm deflating right now with all the twos that I'm saying. But let's play the real notes then. Are you ready? Start on a B. One, two, three, and. Wow, that sounds impressive. I think we should do it once more. Are you ready? One, two, three, and. Oh, that sounds so good. Naki, what do you think? He doesn't even say anything. He just says, yellow star. So here we get our yellow star, but it's gold. Let's make it a gold star. Three stars so far for three exercises. Well done. Let's see if we can put our fingers on exercise four. I'll give you a second just to squeeze through it. And then we're going to do the whole exercise together. I'm looking to see what's different. Right, I'm ready. Recorders under your arms. Are you ready to clap and say the rhythm? Let's do this. One, two, three, and ta ta te ta te sa ta te ta te ta sa. That was slightly easier. Do you agree with me? Let's do it once more. We're doing great job, all of us. Ready? One, two, three, and ta. Ta te ta te sa, ta te ta te ta sa. Can you remember the next step? Are we supposed to play this yet? No, we're supposed to say the rhythm with the note names, or clap the rhythm rather with the note name. Are you ready? So there goes my recording, sleeping and resting position again. So remember, we're going to start on an A. Are you ready? One, two, three, and A, B, B, A, A, Sa, B, B, A, A, B, Sa. Oh, that's tough. Let's do it slightly slower this time around. One, two, three, and A, B, B, A, A, Sa. B, B, A, A, B, Sa. Well done. Now we can do the chinny chin chin one. Are you ready? Bobby's watching us. He wants me to play a nice song. Oh, let's do this. So first we're going to put the fingers ready and then we're going to say the th. Remember? <coughs> you ready? One, two, three, and can you do that again let's do this one two three and well done i think that we should now play the full track um, it's track 22, yes, exercise 4, still on exercise 4. Let's do this. We're going to start on an A, B, A, and then Sa. Remember how we play the Sa? That's right, we don't play it at all. Let's do this. Are you ready? Recorders in your mouth. I will count us down. One, two, three, and... Oh, that sounds really nice. Let's do it once more. Are you ready? One, two, three, and. Oh, 
Oh, that is amazing. I think I'm not even asking Bobby or Naki what they think because I think you deserve the star. Fourth star, almost there. One more to go. Are you ready? Let's do this. Resting positions for the recorders. Let's look at exercise five. Are you ready? So the first thing that we're going to do when we're even at home is to always first look at the line. Make sure you know what they want you to do. And then you're going to clap the rhythm. Then you're going to say the notes and clap. Then you're going to do the chinny chin chin part while you show the notes. And then you will play the sound or the track for this matter. Let's do the last one, the big five. Are you ready? Let's get our clapping hands on. One, two, three, and ta, sa, ta, te, ta, 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 te, sa, ta. Not that tricky because we've done it before now. Let's try once more. You ready? Let's do this. One, two, three, and ta, sa, ta, te, ta, 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 te, sa, ta. You got this? Good job. Now, can we play it yet? No. What did we forget to do? We're supposed to clap and say the note names. So there goes recording, sleeping and resting position. Oh, let's do this. One, two, three, and B, sa, A, A, B, A, B, B, sa, B. Hmm, quite different now. Once more. One, two, three, and D, sa, A, A, B, A, B, B, sa, B. Oh, that round was slightly better. Now we can do the chin, 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 and playing. Remember, we start on a B for this exercise. You ready? There's my chin. I've got it ready for you. Oh, let's do this. Last one. One, two, three, and. Oh, that's not so tricky. Let's do this once more for good luck. Are you ready? One, two, three, and. Well done. Now, I think it's time that we play the last line of music. And then you can go home. Okay, let's do this. One, two, three, and. Oh, that sounds so good. It's so good, we have to try this again before we go home. Are you ready? Make this the best exercise for today. Let's do this. One, two, three, and. Oh, this is amazing. And of course, you get the star. I think that if you continue practicing like this, you will be so prepared for the day of the child. I'm excited for that day. Now I think we should quickly make sure that we know the homework. Let me just ask Bobby to hold my recorder. I'm going to read with you. Are you ready? It says for homework, you have to clap each rhythm and recite the letter names for your parents. Play the exercise for them and ask them to color your star when you have performed it well. So now they have to give you a star. You can't give yourself the star. Naki, did you have fun today? Bobby, did you have fun today? If you had fun today, say AA Captain. See you next time.